Welcome guys, welcome to another episode of my channel. My name is Lillian Afegbae. Please, for those of you that are visiting my channel for the first time, kindly subscribe, like, turn on your notification, share and drop a comment. Mwah! <laughs> Anyways, I'll get right to it. First of all, I'm single and I'm not married, never been married. So, um, I'm going to be talking about this from a single lady's perspective, right? But first of all, I want to ask a question. All those weddings that charges like 55,000 naira for Ashwebi, 50k for Ashwebi, and then the marriage ends after two months. I don't know. Are we not supposed to collect our Ashwebi money back or something? Like, are we supposed to ask for a refund or I don't know, like, because imagine if you have to attend like, 15 weddings in a space of five months and each wedding was like 50 something K for the Ashwebi. And let's say eight of them, you know, crashed after maybe one month or two months or something. Am I supposed to just let that body go? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be sarcastic, but really, really sure. I just feel like I'm going to be doing more of asking questions than answering today. Why? Because I'm not married, so I feel like I cannot really understand what really happens in there. You know what I mean? So, but one thing I want to ask is, that's very important. Is it that when people get married, they change? Or is it that during the relationship process, you didn't know these things about them and you didn't know you couldn't deal with it and then you went into the relationship? Or is it that people get married and they try to now start changing their spouses like their husbands or their wives or whatever like you met someone a certain way and then now you get married you automatically just feel like they should change from what they used to be or what they used to do like i mean i understand that um relationship in general marriage relationships or whatever there has to be compromise like everyone has to compromise at one point or the other like i know right but what i don't understand is how do you date someone for two years and then you get married and you get divorced after one month like i still don't understand it like i want someone to explain it to me what changed did the man or did the woman change um did they show you something else that you never saw in the relationship in the courting phase is it that the title marriage changes everything? Is it that when you're in a relationship with someone, it's all rosy and the minute you say, I want you to be my husband, I want you to be my wife, everything just changes. Like, is it that everyone becomes a different person? It baffles me and it scares me at the same time because now I'm just here thinking like, I'm scared. Like, I'm scared of marriage because I don't know what to expect. I'm a big supporter of like, love like you know be together if you're married try and work things out but i get it that sometimes it's just not workable like you can't just work it out and if you can't just work it out then either party whoever has to leave i'm not in support of um domestic violence i'm not in support of you know maltreating both the woman maltreating the man or the man maltreating the woman whatever i'm not in support of it but what i need to understand and i'm asking you my people please share with me you know your thoughts i want to understand what it is because i still don't get it sometimes when you're dating someone you know that they're they have these traits or this character that you know in your heart of hearts if you're being honest to yourself that you cannot deal with it but then you still tell yourself that it's okay, I love him so much, you know, I would deal with it. And then I think you get into it and you find out that you cannot deal with it and you just jump out. Marriage is like for better, for worse. And, you know, I mean, even in church, you hear all these vows. And does it mean that all those vows you made maybe two months ago or one month ago was nothing? Or what really changed like i really want to know what changed did you stop loving the person to an extent of just getting a divorce after one or two months or three months for me now i'm in the entertainment industry i meet a guy that just says you know what you have to stop everything and me now maybe because i'm in love and i'll say i'll stop everything no though it's wrong 
Like you have to accept people for who they are. That's why they say you love someone's imperfection. Love is unconditional. It's not supposed to be perfect. The person is not supposed to be all amazing. No, you're supposed to love his or her imperfection. That's what love is. But I don't know, man. Are we in love or we're just infatuated? What is it? Jesus Christ. Anyways, guys, I really, 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 genuinely, I want us to have this conversation. No jokes. Drop your comments because I'm going to be coming back on this channel and having this same conversation again with some people's answers. So anyways, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Please do not forget to subscribe, like, share, and definitely drop a comment. I love you all.